also comes with your document camera. With the remote, you're able to control the document camera from anywhere in the room. You will insert the two AAA batteries that came with the camera in the back, and then you'll be able to power the document camera on and off by pressing the red power button. You can zoom in and zoom out by pressing the plus and minus on the remote control. Press the orange button in the center to focus the image. And the two gray buttons on the left and right will adjust the brightness so you can lighten or darken the image. Now the blue set of buttons here in the center are presentation tools to help in presenting your lesson. The first one here on the left is a highlight. So if I have my textbook here and I press that highlight, I can focus my students' attention on certain areas of the book. I can move this highlight box around by using the gray buttons at the top of the remote. And when I'm finished, I'll just press that same highlight button again to remove the highlight box. The second presentation tool is a mask. So if I press this, my mask appears, and then using those same gray buttons at the top, I can pull the mask down so that everybody can read on the same line when we're, when we're reading text, or I can hide the answers of a quiz and show them when I'm ready. This will move left and right as well. And again, to remove the mask, just press the same button. The gray buttons on the remote are basically the same as the buttons on the document camera itself. The first one here on the left is a capture image button. So if I'm using an SD card and I slide that into the SD card slot here uh, in the side of the document camera, then when I press that camera button, you'll see that in the corner the camera icon came up and it means that it just captured an image and saved to my SD card. And then if I press this next gray button here, it has a play icon. Then I'll be able to review those images. You can capture an image and save to either an SD card or a USB flash drive. The next button here will let you record video to the SD card or the USB flash drive. You'll just press this button and it will start recording video. You can then zoom in, zoom out, and press the video again to stop the recording. To review your video, press the play button again. You'll see all of your videos displayed. Then you'll be able to use the gray buttons to move the cursor and select which video you'd like to play. Press the orange button in the center to select it and you'll be able to see your recorded video. The document camera also has a mic built into it, so when you play back that video, if you have speakers connected to your document camera, your students will be able to hear your explanation as well. The button here has a picture of a computer on it, and if you're connected to a computer, then when you press it, you'll be able to see your computer screen, so then you can show your PowerPoint presentation or something from the internet, and when you're ready to go back to doing your live experiment or showing something from the textbook, just press that green button at the bottom of the remote again. The last gray button is a split screen. This will let you compare uh, the live image and the saved image from an SD card. So, if I want to maybe show two things at once, like the front of a page or the front of something and the back of something, I can press that split screen. And we can see the two at the same time. The live image and the saved image. And then to remove the feature, just press the same button. The remote also comes with a lanyard that looks like this. So if you want, you can connect it this way. And you can wear 